stop doing that. They're drawing too much attention to us. That creep was asking for it. No one lays a hand on my host. No one. I know you mean well, but I can take care of myself. Anyway, where to next? We need leads on the skull heart. I've got to wish my memories back. It's definitely a new meridian. All these Skullgirl rumors floating around. I bet we can find a lead just by looking for trouble. Fine, we'll do it your way. The laundry's all done. Today certainly was productive. You know, looking at our clothes, I must say they're all so unique. Uh, Kena? What are you doing? Oh, nothing! Are you here to pick up a change of clothes? What? Yeah, you guessed it! How'd you know? I figured you'd be here soon. I just finished doing some laundry. Hey there, guys! Ah! Whoa! <gasps> Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you okay? Yeah, are you alright, buddy? Oh, you know... I just tripped again. Ow. I was taking a nice stroll with a fairy, and before I knew it, I was whirling through the air. You really need to pay more attention to your surroundings. Plus, there aren't any fairies around here. What would happen if the wedding planner couldn't make it to the wedding she's planning? Yeah, you're right. I sure hope I'll be okay. Just... Watch your step, okay? That, that she killed the Grey Witch of the Forest, Lady Molia! No wonder the life force of the forest has been on the decline. This is a very, very big deal. I need to let the other Great Witches know post-haste! Either way, she's a new player in this game, but she's quite the brat. Just you watch. I will definitely make you suffer through some awful things. Ruh-ro! You can't go this way! Forbidden! Pillar of Temperance is ahead. Just kick the Corrigan aside and get moving, Hundred Knight. Please wait! Please don't go! Oh no! Master Valentine is going to yell at us for this! Everyone! Everyone, we gotta move! Our guardian is on its way! Is this? The Swamp Witch's house? Ah! It stood up! Yes, this is the Witch's residence. Oh, Kalu Kalei! Still, this is not quite what I imagined. Where is the Swamp Witch? I must beg her for assistance. What did I do? What are you looking at me for? And you? What are you? I don't want to be you. Hmm. But. Ugh, damn it! Fine, Tioni. Got it? Hmm? Tioni? Yeah, that's right. It's your name now. You're the one who said you wanted one, so you better not complain about it. Tioni. My name. I'm Tioni. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Could it be? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about, but I don't think she's relevant to this case. Ah, uh, where are my manners? This is Echo, and I'm her fairy Karin. I also act as her interpreter. I knew it. You must be allied with Goldo, right? Hell no! I've never seen this chick before in my life, eh? 
Yeah. Allow me to interpret. She means, I will kill you. That's practically the same thing. Please wait. Who in the world are you? Kill. Butcher. Annihilate. Pebble says, there's no reason to answer that. Fighting is all I know. Additionally, stop complaining, you whiny little bitch. I can't stand smug, privileged hussies like you. I hate you so much. You die first. I'm gonna kill you until you die from it. That's what I think. I'd like you to have this. An amulet? I made medicine from boiled fairy flowers and poured it in this amulet. My brother is a warrior, and I gave that to him just in case he ever got wounded. But he said he didn't need it. You should try giving it to him again. That'd be better than giving that amulet to me. That's impossible. I remind you of your brother, right? Trust me, he'll take it if you keep bugging him about it. He's just being shy is all. No, that's not it. Huh? I can't give this to my brother. He's no longer with me. Huh? He was killed by a fencer. What do you mean? My brother was a fencer who worked for the Dorfa Corporation before he died. Dorfa? Emily, what was your brother's name? Apollonius. Alrighty, Noir. How about you help me practice? Practice? Like, soccer practice? Of course! Soccer balls are great fun to kick around. Sure, why not? I've been interested in the game for a while, so... Would you mind showing me how you practice? Will do. But first, you have to know the rules. Do you know them by heart? <laughs> no. Not everything, anyway. I'm familiar with the basics. Boo! I'm flashing my yellow card at you for that. You gotta know the rules like you know how to breathe. Let's just stay in HDD form where we're safe and covered up. Come on. We have to calm down. Okay. I disagree with the game's design choice this time around, but it's not like we can quit now. Don't worry, Rom. I'll protect you. It's okay if I'm with everyone. I'm still embarrassed, though. This is what we have to overcome if we want to be real CPU someday. I think. <laughs> Salia, if you're gonna follow us, then I need you to promise us one thing. W what is it, Blip? If you encounter Majorita again, don't act on your own. I don't want to be interrupted. Understand? Yes, I'll be careful, Blip. Hey, Kilia, don't you think you're being a little strict on the kid? You fool! Kilia is being strict with her because he's worried she might overreach and end up losing her life. Do you not understand that undemonic kindness? You, stop putting words in my mouth. My, please excuse me. But for a little girl like Usalia to bear that much hatred? Something big must have happened to her. Even now, I clearly remember what happened, but... Rather productive, for an opening act. What splendid anger you've shown me, girl! If it should blossom into hatred... Oh, but how happy he will be! Who is she? I've waited so long. Indeed, the time is ripe for both of us. Wait, Dazzle! She's not a Hellion! Like I give a damn. You turn my friends into Hellions and drag the name of the Wind Riders through the mud? What are you talking about, Dezel? 
Do you mean to say that the girl still doesn't know? I'll have to apologize to Lizette later. Apologize to whom about what? Yeah. And just where are you going so late at night? I, I'm just going out for some fresh air. Wearing all that exploration gear? When you were told not to go out? Uh, <laughs> act on impulse when it's about helping other people. It's both the good and bad thing about you. I can't just sit around here. I know how you feel, but let's leave it to the mayor and his staff. If he feels he needs your help, he'll tell you. Your trip will be for nothing if you become too exhausted to help him. But... I'll tow. All right. I give up. Good. You can head back to your room already. No. I don't trust you, so I'm bunking with you tonight. Huh? No, it's fine, I... Scoot over. Don't I have any rights? You say something? Nothing. At all. It's not a dream, Neptune! Get up! No, 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 this can't be possible. I mean, we were just in our room, right? Why would we suddenly be in a place like this? I don't know. When I came to, we were just... here. What happened? Well, I don't really know where this is, but I don't think it can be helped. The city's collapsed, there are weird cracks in the sky, but, you know, this is totally a normal occurrence in games. Um, Neptune, even if it happens often in games, this should not be happening here, in reality. Yeah, yeah, but let's not sweat the small stuff, alright? Hey, there might be some NPCs out and about. Let's go for a walk. I'm sure that'll be ten times better than moping around in a place like this. Yeah, you're right. It's better than just waiting around for an event to appear. Here is. Would you like to try alchemy? Huh? Me? That's right. I think you have a natural talent for alchemy. Also, I think it would be way more fun to do it yourself rather than just watch. Yes, I agree. There's no need to hesitate. Okay. In that case, I'll give it a try. Alright, that's the spirit! I'll teach you how to do it. Could you come over here? <sighs> I haven't been sleeping well lately. Whenever I close my eyes, I keep thinking about too many things. Shio. Nationals are coming up soon, so I keep thinking, should someone like me really be on the starting lineup? Don't worry. Just be confident in yourself. Your skills have been recognized. It's all because you work harder than anyone else. Yeah. Volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since the meet's coming up. Oh, right there! Hum. Can I help you? Sig asked me to stop you. He said you were chasing him. What? He wants me to protect him from you. I've never seen him so scared. You're a bad man! Ha! Is that what you think? I just want to ask Sid for his hand. Uh, what? This guy's weird. Hold, Delphia. Huh? Uh, what is it, Lou? Would you please stop fooling about? This is a battlefield. You've been acting far too brazen. You're going to get someone killed. Well, excuse me for taking some initiative around this joint. I go out and wipe the floor with the bad guys, and now I get a lecture? I'm not criticizing you, but showing a bit of dignity would be nice. For you see, the thing about you is... Would you please shut up? Nothing I do is ever good enough for you. Just leave me alone, you big loser! Oh, wait, I'm fine! I can do it myself! No, dear sister. This is your first time wearing one, so Snow White will help. What's the big deal? 
It's just a bra. And you know, I'm the older one here. Big deal? It is a big deal. Huh, let's measure you first. Huh? What the? Just, uh, let me share whatever you're wearing. Oh, I, I hate to say this, but I think my bras are a bit too big for you. Hey! That's not true! Hand it over! <laughs> D dear sister, that's... Yikes! P please stop! <laughs> no, please don't! Uh, 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 yes! Got it! I can't believe you took it off! It's almost like they were invisible. Oh, but it wasn't me. My magic can only make you half invisible. Your upper half, to be specific. That's kind of a half-baked invisibility spell, isn't it? But both doors to library had hidden cameras on them. How about the vent in the library? Maybe they came in through there. But Shuichi and I were on lookout in the classroom with the connecting vent. The culprit waited until Kaede and Shuichi weren't looking, then turned invisible. Excuse me! Uh, hello? Yoo-hoo! Uh, hi, hi there! Uh, just up front, I want to put it out there that we are totally not the bad guy. Then who are you? M my name is Natsumi, and this is Amu. Can we chat for a moment or two? Are you from the other worlds? Amu, no! That's way too direct! But, it's a lot faster, right? Other world, huh? We're actually from Linbaum. I'm Taurus, and this is my guardian beast, Fulrel. I knew it! I'm from Linbaum, too! This is my first guard mission. But pretending to be a friend, even for work? Oh, that's her! Alright, so I need to go talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> Okay? I'm okay, but you've got to be more careful. <gasps> oh, nice to meet you. My name is Mary Rose. You're Honoka, right? You were in the preliminaries for Dead or Alive. What? Yeah, I am, but... I was there too. If you don't mind, would you practice with me? Really? That'd be amazing, Marie. Yeah. Contact successful. I have to. No! Why? To beat Kala. That's dumb. Hmm, it is dumb. Can we just go hang out instead? Yeah! Uh, I mean, no, I can't. I gotta do this. Well, if you don't come back, I'm gonna be super mad at you. So you'd better win. I'm gonna do my best. Team Idiot Forever! Yeah! Now that you mention it, that is true. Please forgive me for earlier. Well then, <clears throat> I'm Colette, the Aquarius Star Maiden. I run this bakery day in and day out. I'm the charismatic proprietor, as well as the cute girl who works at a shop. 